Hey, hey, welcome to Digging Into the Bible. My name is Jim Barnard. This is a production of Taylor Coaching. All right, well, welcome to season two of Digging Into the Bible podcast. I am so excited to be bringing you season two. Uh, you might not have known that there was a season one. You might be starting right now, and that's totally okay. You can go back and watch or listen to season one, which was the book of Matthew, whenever you would like. Uh, I think podcasts live forever, so you can just go do that at your leisure. We went through 81 straight days, and it was so good for me. I learned a lot that I just wanted to keep pressing on, and so we are going to do the book of Acts this time. So for the next 82 days, are you ready for that? I'm like a glutton for punishment. 82 straight days, we're going to be doing this, just little bite-sized chunks of the scripture. And um, last season, I got a little loose with timing. I promise five-ish minute podcasts. Well, um, I, I, I kind of did six or seven or eight, kind of uh, struggled. I just got a little excited. So um, that's okay. Everyone lived, no one perished, but I'm going to try to own it better this time. We're already over a minute, so that doesn't leave me much time. So why don't we go ahead and dig in? This is the book of Acts, starting chapter 1, verse 1. In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up after he had given commands through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them after his suffering by many proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he ordered them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which, he said, you heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know uh, times or seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and, Samaria, and to the end of the earth. And when he said these things, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven, as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. All right, so a uh, great start here to the book of Acts. Uh, this book is being written by, not Matthew, um, by Luke. Uh, there's uh, four gospel writers. There's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and then John. Um, Luke wrote his own gospel, and in that gospel, he started it off in a very similar way, writing to Theophilus, this mysterious man. Um, no one really knows for sure if, if he's a real person or just kind of a group or... Um, you know, if he was a real person, was he an official? Was he um, Jewish? Was he Gentile? Was he Roman? Was he Greek? What's going on here? A lot of people, uh, you know, take this in a different term because the, the, the word Theophilus can be translated into friend of God. And so he may just be writing it to all of us and using this clever word of Theophilus. We're not sure. No big deal. Um, but the thing I want to focus on, I can only focus on like one thing in this five-ish minute um, podcast, and um, Jesus' ascension into heaven. Like, I have so many questions about it. Don't you? Like, what was it like to be there? Like, was it amazing? It had to have been amazing. I want to know, like, did Jesus go fast? Or, like, or was it slow? Like, like, it was like just this slow fade out. Like, oh, come on, man. Like, go ahead and do it. <laughs> Um, you know, was, was Jesus looking up into heaven or was he looking down at his friends like, bye guys, see ya. Or, you know, how about this? Did, did anyone say anything like, Jesus, come back. Or, Jesus, you should have wore underwear. <laughs> Sorry, that's kind of gross. Um, I just want to know. I mean, I've got a picture in my mind. You know, I'll tell just a quick story here. I, I remember when I was a kid and, and my parents divorced and my dad would come and, and pick me up over weekends to um, hang out. We'd go and see movies and go bowling and all this fun stuff. Um, he was the best for that. And uh, when he would drop me back off at my mom's house, 
I would watch him back up out of the the um, driveway and then just drive up the street and I would just stand there and watch him until he was out of sight. And even for a few minutes after he was out of sight because it was painful, it was sad. It, it really crushed me to, to just like think, oh my gosh, like is that the last time I'm gonna see him? Now, I got to see my dad again, like thousands of times since then. Um, but like that moment is really intense. And I just think that this moment was obviously really intense. And these angels that come and say, hey, you know, relax, calm down. I would have given anything for someone to say, hey, it's okay. You're going to see him again. And so that's what the narrative is. And I'm already out of time. So... <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I will see you tomorrow as we continue on with Acts chapter 1. See you then.